Um, and I just told my team, you know, a lot of times reporters and, and people ask, you know, about UMass basketball. You know, what is UMass basketball? And I just told them if I could just take what we just did tonight and put it in a picture and, 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 and give it to them, like that is who we are. You know, we're a team that comes in and, you know, we're going we're gonna to work extremely hard uh, for 40 minutes. And, uh, you know, I'm extremely proud of our effort here tonight. Uh, we just played a really good basketball team. And, uh, you know, for 40 minutes we competed. I know that we got down uh, by 19 there in, in the third or fourth or whatever it was, um, you know, and, and could have just packed it in. But we found a way to keep clawing back um, and, and, and get, you know, within, you know, a manageable, reach, reachable, you know, number. Um, and, it, you know, had we not missed three layups in a row, you know, you know, anything was possible at that point in time. But um, for us to out-rebound a team that is second in the country in rebounding is pretty significant. And rebounding is effort. Rebounding is a want to. It's a mindset. And uh, for what our players just did, I'm extremely proud of them. Um, really happy for them. Uh, I think that this type of game, there's a reason why I scheduled this game. You know, we, we talk about if we want to be the best, you got to go and play the best. You know, and I felt that coming down here, you know, into this environment and playing against a team with all these All-Americans, you know, will we'll pay off dividends down the road. And um, I hope that I'm, I'm right here in a couple months, but uh, extremely happy with our effort here today. Um, I'm just kind of curious what you saw from Destiny late in the game. Obviously, she had some three. Oh, obviously she had some three pointers. But I'm just curious uh, what you thought of her effort for the uh, all four pointers. Yeah, I mean, our effort, you know, her effort and everyone's effort, I, I thought was outstanding. You know, and uh, you know, just being able to get downhill and you know, and, and and she'll tell you like you know she's a little bit frustrated, especially you know going you know three for fifteen, but. Like, there's other ways you can impact, you know, the game. You know, I, I know that she, you know, would rather have a, a couple of those field goal attempts, you know, drop in, you know, and feel a little bit better about that. Um, but I thought that her effort was outstanding here today. Overall, it was, <coughs> overall, it was a tough shooting in for you guys. You guys had a great run at the yeah. this final stretch there. What was the key to kind of getting over that adversity? You know? Yeah, I mean, it's going to happen, you know. It's going to happen. and. You know, you got, you, I mean, you can't just hang your heads. I think, you know, the entire night I was just like, what's next? You know, what's next? Just play the next possession. Don't hang your head, you know, because we're not knocking down shots. The shots will fall. You know, we know we can hit them. We've hit, hit them in the past, you know. And, and you know, I, I talked about Sydney Taylor, and I thought that, you know, you could say that she didn't, you know, really play that well tonight, and I thought she was outstanding. I mean, I know she went one for seven, and she's a dynamic scorer for us, but you go and look, okay, she didn't score it, but the way she impacted the game, all right, her ability to rebound the basketball and then her outlets allowed us, allowed us to get out in transition and run, you know, and, and we were pretty productive there, you know, but, uh, you know, uh, again, but you got to give Tennessee credit. I mean, their length bothered us. You know, we missed a lot of layers because of their length, you know, but that's who they are. A couple of years ago, there was the A-10 championship game. Last year, there was the A-10 championship game, and then the NCAA tournament. And tonight, you're playing in arguably the most historic women's basketball venue of all time. What does it mean for the program to have this kind of repeated exposure year to year? You know, I, I just think it tells you, you know, about where we are. You know, no, no, nobody ever talked about us before. Nobody respected us before. You know, but our goal was to, you know, improve this program, you know, and get and, and get na national attention, you know, and how do you do that? You know, you, you do that by preparing, you, you do that by going to work each and every single day. You, you do it by recruiting good, you know, character, you know, student athletes who want to win. And, and the person beside me is a winner. There is no question about that. One of the most the competitive, one of the most competitive players that, that I have ever coached. It doesn't matter what we're playing. We can play kickball or we do play dodgeball. And like you should see her play dodgeball. It's un, un, unreal. But like you need players like, you know, the Bernayas of the world to help you change the program. You know, and, and, and we wanted, you know, we wanted to get respect. First, we wanted to get respect in the 810. 
you know, and, and then secondly, once we did that, you know, now we want to hit the national scene, you know, and, and we wanted, you know, people to respect us nationally. And, and I thought that we came in today in a tough environment playing against an, an, an unbelievable team, you know, and, 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 I, and I thought we played extremely well. Yeah. Kristen Williams made her UMass debut today. Can you just speak to her play both today and what she'll bring to the team all season long? Yeah, you know, she's a scorer. And, uh, you know, she, she could light it up. And uh, she's still in the process of getting acclimated. You know, and again, it, it was just good to get her out on the floor today, you know, to get that nervous energy out. And why not against, you know, the number five team in the country? Like, why not, right? So we threw her to the Wolves. And uh, she did, she, she did uh, quite all right. But we expect her to, you know, keep working hard and practice each and every single day and, you know, put herself in a position to be successful on the court. You had zero D1 offers. You got snubbed from the A10 preseason teams. How does it feel to come to Tennessee, play at the level you did, and just kind of prove people wrong time and time again? Um, it honestly feels good just to know, like, no matter if I was on the team or not, like, the work that I'm putting in is, is constantly showing whether they believe in me or not. Like, I know the work I put in, and I trust the work I put in each and every day. So regardless of who believes, believes in me, I believe in myself, and I trust the work that I put in. Tennessee threw a pretty competitive press at you and you were kind of able to split the defense and feed your teammates that well. I'm just kind of curious how you maintain composure but also carry that composure out to your other four teammates on the court. Um, I think that goes back to like my AAU days. Like anytime I see somebody pressing, I feel like my eyes just light up because I know I can handle the ball pretty well. So the minute I seen that, I kind of just knew like I could break the press easily and then look up the floor and find teammates. You guys out-rebounded Tennessee, you got 22 off the offensive glass. Was that a big focus for you guys coming into this game? And, you know, how happy were you with that effort to get, again, 22 on the offensive end? Um, most definitely just knowing, like, the last two games, we got out-rebounded. So it was a main point in practice, and I feel like that's where it starts at in practice. So we really focused in on boxing out. And we had to tell ourselves, like, we, if we want to win, like, we had to rebound. So I feel like we came together as a group and told each other, like, if we don't do nothing, we're going to rebound. And just so he can calm down some, he can get off her back, and just to give us another opportunity to win a game. Bernard, in an environment like this, do you feel before the game like a different energy, or is it just the same, you're going to work type of vibe? It's pretty much the same, just another game. Another, another opportunity to get better with my teammates. Is that it? Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank, Thank you. you.